Hey all, this is Brandon Scott with the next episode of The Fandom Pastor. Um, thank you for joining me. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I got two favors to ask of you. Um, we're currently dealing with a lot of this whole coronavirus. A lot of you are stuck at home. Um, some of you are not, but uh, the important thing is keep yourself safe, protect yourself, um, stay home, watch the Phantom Pastor episodes. If you haven't got all of them watched, go back and watch them. Share this out. Um, you know, maybe it's it's a something I can do to help people get not so bored. Um, I just uh, I want everybody to be safe. So uh, we continue our series on the sci-fi show Firefly. So far, we've discussed uh, Mal, Captain Mal, um, Wash, Zoe, Kaylee, and Jane. This week, we discuss uh, the one that most pastors like myself can connect with, identify with, Shepherd Daryl Book. Now, Book was played by um, the actor Ron Glass, who sadly passed away in 2016. Uh, Book is a pastor but he can have somewhat of a uh, unique look at life and doesn't follow what many think of as a pastor, um, including those on Serenity. He also has a humorous side. There's a clip um, of that below. Now, the Apostle Paul said, Fight the good fight, keeping faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected and suffered shipwreck in regard to their faith. That's from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 18-19. to 19. Now, just like an airline has internal systems to warn the pilot when the plane is too low or in danger of stalling, God has placed in each of us a spiritual warning system uh, called the conscience. And the conscience sounds the alarm whenever we kind of veer off God's intended path for our lives. Now, for the crew of Serenity, book, uh, in essence, becomes their, their conscience, their, their Jiminy Cricket. Um, that voice that reminds them of what they should do. Um, you know, and let's be honest, the, the crew of the Serenity, they're thieves. Um, they're smugglers. They're, they're kind of a rough group. And, and so, in general, they really don't seem like they have a conscience. Um, but when, when Book joins them, he becomes the one who, who helps them kind of find their way back, in, in essence, in a way, uh, find their way back to the, the right path. Now, unfortunately, like the, the crew of the, the Serenity, a lot of people have ignored their conscience so long that they kind of developed this hardened conscience, um, kind of like a leprosy of the soul. Now, if you don't know, leprosy is a disease that destroys the nerve ending so the person can no longer feel pain. But honestly, physical pain is a gift from God. It alerts us when something is wrong. But a person who has leprosy doesn't feel pain. So they might, say, step on hot cold, not know that they burned their feet, um, grab something sharp and not feel when they, they are getting cut. Um, pain is a gift from God that warns us of danger. Now, in the same way, we have an internal warning system, a conscience that alerts us to spiritual danger. But eventually we'll say no to God enough, we destroy those spiritual nerve endings. So how does God react or reactivate, excuse me, the conscience of someone whose heart has grown cold? Well, a clear conscience is the knowledge that neither God nor anyone else can accuse us of a wrong that we have not attempted to make right. So sometimes we need that knock on the door. Sometimes we need a book, um, not the one with all the pages, but a shepherd. Um, maybe it's a pastor. It could very well be, but it also could be a good friend that can help redirect us. Uh, somebody that God has put in that place to direct us and bring us back into the fold to, to clear our conscience. How do we do that? Is there any sin that we've not turned away from? Do you have a, a clear conscience towards other people? A clear conscience is not a luxury. It's a necessity to win at the Christian life. 
I mean, how do we know for sure whether or not we're doing something right or wrong? Um, we have that voice in our head. Again, I, I looked at Jimmy Cricket. He was the, the conscience for Pinocchio. Uh, eventually, he grew up and he didn't need him anymore. Um, but we still need God. No matter how old we get, how much we mature, we still need God as our clear conscience so that we can truly do right by him. So, join me in a couple weeks. Hopefully, uh, before too awful long, we'll be given the all clear. Uh, we can go out and be social again, but until then, keep yourself safe. Like I did last time, I'll give you a clue to next uh, time's um, Firefly episode. It will be on Firefly. We're going through all the characters. Um, this person is pretty central to the whole story. Thanks, and God bless.